Hello, welcome to Creative by Nature. My name is Donna. Today I'm taking part in the Craft It Three Ways Challenge. It's hosted by Kat from According to Kat and Casey from A Coffee with My Sunshine. I will have the playlist and both channels linked down in my video description box b- below. Please check it out. Okay, so here I have a piece of cardboard that's an inch and a half wide and some yard. Cut a small piece and I'm also going to be wrapping the yarn around the cardboard 40 to 50 times. I cut it, pull it off, and then I'm going to tie off in the middle with that extra piece of yarn. Pull tight. Cut through all the loops that you have created. Now I'm going to fluff up all the pieces and I am going to give it a bit of a haircut so I can make a nice round pom-pom. I have this branch that I found out on a nature walk and I'm going to add a little touch of hot glue to my pom-pom and add it to the top of my branch. And there you have a pom-pom flower. Next I have another branch and some yarn and I am going to tie the yarn onto the branch and add just a dab of glue. Now I'm going to start wrapping my branch with the yarn and I'm going to make sure that there's no gaps in between each of the wraps. Once the stick is wrapped the way you like, tie off your yarn, add a dab of glue, and then trim off any of the loose ends. Okay, so my, for my next project, I am taking three long lengths of yarn and I'm going to tie them off in a knot on one end. I'm going to place that knot in a clipboard and now I am going to start to braid the pieces together. Once you have your desired length, tie it off on the other end with a knot. Now I have a cylinder vase, some 8.5 by 14 copy paper, and a tape runner. I'm going to wrap my vase in the copy paper. This way here I can use the vase for another project if I desire. Adding a touch of glue runner to one end of the tape and then I'm going to wrap up the vase. I have an assorted color mix of braided yarn and I am going to start to apply it to the paper on the base. I'm going to snip off one end of the knot and I'm going to add a dab of glue to my vase on the paper and I'm going to make sure that those loose ends are adhere well to that paper so it doesn't unravel. Next, you will add a bead of the hot glue onto the paper and start to apply the braided yarn onto and around the vase.
To end that braided strand, you just snip it off and do the same thing by adding some glue and making sure that those end strands are secured to the paper that's around the base. And then you can go ahead and add some different texture. I've got this chunky yarn that I'm going to add. And you just continue to add layers of your braided yarn or any other yarn that you have around your base. I'm wrapping the yarn around until all the paper is covered up. You can use any colors you'd like and it gives a nice woven look for your vase. Okay, I have a bonus for you. Just something quick and easy to do. Find some nice smooth rocks and again your yarn and wrap it around your rock. Add a touch of glue on the back, start to wrap, add another touch of glue and you're done. Here's how all my projects look together. This is a great way to use up your yarn stash. Thank you to Kat and Casey for hosting this challenge. Thank you to my fellow creators and thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.